There we go. I forgot to change back the game capture. Silly MK. I hope you're all doing awesome tonight. Hey, two times the stream. Two times the fun. Earth. A little chilly. Let's hit continue on this. I think we were doing all right enough here. We got one star done, so that's pretty awesome. Oh, oh pardon me. My nose is runny. Ba -da -ba -ba. All right. Five clubs. Unless we got a speed whacking. took in the sleeper club. Evening. Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Let's do Welcome books. to Two Point Radio, where it's a great day. Why? Because I, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, am talking into a microphone. Can you feel it? Can you hear me? Is this thing on? Really, Dennis, if this is off again, I'm going to come in there and dunk you like a biscuit. 
<laughs> we'll check the time on the air and be back with more sumptuous sound wave salaciousness after this. Students are reminded that this is the fun part. This is the fun part. like a pop song. I suppose that's probably what it's supposed to do is remind you of some pop song. But I wish I could put my finger on which pop song that it reminds me of. <laughs> it's kind of been bugging me. This is a, 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 a what is it called again? Students are Reminders. You have to have the beach party. Um, Didn't it tell you that somewhere? The name? Breaking Point. That's what one it is. Yeah, Breaking Point. It's a little bit beyond the music one we were talking about earlier. A couple, maybe a level or two? No, yeah. I kind of skipped ahead a bit. Frequently yeah. asked questions. See where I could get some stars on some levels I hadn't tried yet, because some of the previous ones were frustrating me. I like that music one. <laughs> Churn out a radio show from the comfort of their toilet seats. The call! In my day, one had to work for years, making sandwiches and polishing the communication tower before they even let you touch a microphone. There's more to radio than ability, charm, and technological literacy. Eager little autodidacts, the lot of them. It's almost the end of the academic year. In case you have built another one. Oh, I always build it against the wall. Why is that? The door against the wall. Like some kind of silly turkey head. Okay, end of the year, I see you. Nope. 
Somebody failed! Another ant was on me. An ant on me yesterday. My goodness. teach whatever you want so since I hadn't done funny business or the money class or um, is the other one He's teaching funny business general knowledge and money wrangling <laughs> I figured I'd do those classes at least I didn't remember teaching them Slackjawed nephew Kevin ushered me through cyberspace and into the world of video games. Oh, yes, yeah, I video played games. the latest entry in the popular Meat Wizard franchise for Sir Nigel. You thought you learned it, but you I can't seem to teach I it. Cold. I had I to. The controller was sticky um, in one level. <laughs> Well, I'm unsurprised um, that it appeals to the desensitized youth of today. Train somebody I'll tell to you learn what it. Told that chap in the deli. No one needs that much ham. And one yeah. magical gem out of They're, the they, five. they look like a they have a duck on their plagiarism is not on a their, system. On their symbol, if that helps you any. <laughs> I was like, what does a general knowledge one look like even? I hadn't even seen it yet. And and you don't get any money from the ministry. You only get money from the students. So we have to keep the students happy. get the level five clubs. Club items. Okay. I thought I did that. A milk 
milkshake. Uh. So drinking too much milk can and will make you uncontrollably ill. <laughs> Be safe and try to uh. have very slightly less than that. Okay. This message is brought to you by oh, you're hot. Made Corporation. Why are we hot? Didn't do the air conditioning. The administrator is reminded to stay hydrated. I'm good hydrated bot lady. She reminds me of hydration bot. I swear she goes off about that as often too. <laughs> Hey, if you're tired, join Napping Club. It's right behind there. Okay, they'll join two more clubs. Fourteen. I like qualified. Teachers. So that doesn't mean training, probably. We're sorry for the litter that you. Oh, sorry, that's mine. We'll put a brain in the jar. Cookies. They come do their training. Have your cookie. Just go for a little training. Okay. Why? Why is that like so bad though? <sighs> it's a little overreactive sometimes. I think it is. Yeah, collision. Collision. Let's start with the level ones. Level one. We'll train them first. So they can definitely be better than level one. and I have half a million dollars. <laughs> Feels good. Controversies surrounding Education Minister Tarquin Foxbridge, who allegedly so if they blew his want nose on private tuition to level up. Stories like this are scandalous. It's perfectly clear to me that a group of students have fabricated the images somehow, and yet this poor minister faces all manner of backlash and public murmurings. And why? Because he was photographed doing something. I know a witch hunt when I see one. Frequently asked questions. No, I've not seen your frog. I need my frog. Hmm. Oh, 
get you. Man, when there's still bugs in the house. That's supposed to be your area of expertise, you know. want a refund on my education. That's how it should be. What do you know about radio after all? Almost nothing, I'd imagine. Still, it's time for that rare occasion where we put you, the listener, at the center of things. I am the aunt to ease your agony. The balm to abate what bites you. The A to all your cues. I am listening. Oh, and we're out of time. We'll get to your problems after this, all right? All right. <laughs> You care about the students. No, Marlon. He's all curled up. No, the ball. I wish she was closer. Okay, put them on camera for you guys. He's like in the middle of the bed. What? Why did you fall? Training staff members. Probably need another training room. No, oh, I already see. I put the door against the wall again. Would help if it were clean, maybe. Mm, that house can I make it level seven? Have some milkshake in your student lounge. Hmm. 
Who seemed to ask after that poster? What's this one? Ancient spells. It's time for agony Do we have any posters about money? Or funny business? The problem is from student Felony Bog Dropper. Who writes, I've got loads of work, but can't concentrate with all the noise in my flat. Bomb poster, melody poster, friendship, boogie knife. Right in the billiard room, mill about in the converted mill. Why, read in the scullery. Your home is your castle. Landscape, many, many hygiene poster, there we go. Oh, he's dirty, damn. Ma'am, she's ball. Chef poster. I'm getting all this coup dash, so I figure I might as well spend it on unlocking things. One at level seven, right? So. Yeah, level up. Complaining. I wanted to put more vending machines in. Them. I really wish they wouldn't suffer from bin blindness. I feel like putting in bins is sometimes a waste. They all seem to have bin blindness. I don't know. Wait, why aren't they happy? All the love stuff is outside. Why is all the love stuff outside? Outside is where you fall in love. Of course you Apparently. do. So why not call in and let our producers know? Recent research suggests that over 97% of our listeners are incidental. That is, hearing by accident rather than intent. Collateral Johnnies, if you will. Nevertheless, I have faith that each radio segment, like a juicy needle in a haystack of filth, is found by someone, somewhere. Well done to you, today's deliberate listener. If you want love... Meow. I don't know where to find love. Don't ask me. I 
remember what it's like to be in love anymore. Join a club. Well, there's all kinds of clubs around. I don't know what to tell you. Student lounge level five. Where is my student lounge? That is just it's level. Maybe I should make another one for here. Land party. we could do this until I saw you doing it the other day. I was like, oh, there's a way we can just, like, click on stuff and then move it around. <laughs> It's just so.
bum, bum, bum. You're listening to Ricky Hawthorne. On Two Point Radio. Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Today, I balance two hats jauntily on my one singular head. My regular disc jockeying hat is joined by my occasional chef hat. Yes, I'll be taking you all over Two Point County as I recount my latest culinary travels. I set out to find the finest foods our great county has to offer. Just a hungry man in his hatchback. It's a tale as old as time. Oh, that treatment. Do I have the healing room in enough places? There's one here. Days I might actually see which way the door is facing before I put it down. <laughs> research unit. I have all this money I could be doing research and unlocking more stuff. The culinary world is a lot like the real world. There are places, there are smells, there's a chance you'll get lost. After a series of wrong turns, now 60 miles off course, I was treated to the first food of my trip. A wandering puffed pastry, and something I believe to be meat. The buttery sausage-style matter mingled playfully with hints of pine from my air freshener. It was unexpected. It was dangerous. It was cold in the middle. Cold in the middle? Yeah. This doesn't sound good at all. Not enough time. Well, I'm sorry. Can't have that. There's not enough time.
Twelve percent better. They should have known that. There's no such thing as free time. The summer is a good time to relax and prepare for next year. The yearly results are in. Wow. Didn't we do well? We did do well, I think. Nobody failed! The academic year is over. Students must vacate the campus. Lose all kinds of money. Well, we can't have that. If you ask me, Hogsport boasts the finest milkshakes in Two Point County. At the Oily Cormorant, they'll serve you a traditional malt in an old leather boot and throw in a salt and vinegar egg. You just cannot beat it. Milkshakes are a great tradition. They're in our blood. In fact, I once received medical attention after enjoying a few dozen shakes and was told that my blood was over 60% ice cream. How we laughed. <laughs> Announcement. The timetable is now live. Mm -hmm. Students should check in before trying to learn. Mm -hmm. no. do, 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 130. I might need more dorms. Good power now.
breakfast can be hard for us all. Toast again? Ugh, I hate it here! Uh-oh, give those heckling kids something new to chew on. <coughs> Only Hog Log cereal combines four times of wheat with a salty crunch of crispy bog skin. No, sure now I am. I'll cut the hair. <coughs> And they level up, they're paying more money. That's good. Pay me money. Huge fan of Yeti cuisine. Yes, our neighbors to the north really know their way around a kitchen. From stews and pickles to five tiered sandwiches, and of course, their pies. Cold hands make the boldest pastry, after all, and it is freezing up there. You really must try it. It's the food of the people, and those people are Yetis. Priority pay? Um, I don't think you can do that in this one. I've been looking for it. Like how to tell them, say, you just want them to work as a research person, say? I've been trying to find that. And I don't think they copied that mechanic from Two Point Hospital over to here. But I could be wrong. I've been trying to find it though, and I haven't seen it yet. You used to be able to assign, like, a uh, psychologist just to be a psychologist and, and all that jazz in hospital. Maybe they didn't keep that. I don't know. I haven't been able to find it, so I don't think it's here. Which is unfortunate, because I always liked having that mechanic. <clears throat> yeah, no problem. Yeah, it'd be nice to 
or, you know, say you really want to get that research done. There used to be a way to prioritize the building, too, like the room itself and thing. You can add, still add more staff, so... Uh, that, that's great. You can still add more staff. I need to probably get some more research teachers. I just don't have any available to hire here. I may have to train some. <clears throat> I like that you can train them right away. I think that must be new because I swear that wasn't a thing either. You used to have to wait until they could train them. <clears throat> These ones are ready for training right away. Which is nice. Great. If you don't have what you need, you can get it. I was famished when I arrived at the Royal Tumble Hotel. So much so that I took advantage of my kitchenette and feasted greedily on some toast. When I returned from a walk, I was stunned to find that all crumbage had been decrumbled. The bed was made and the toilet spotless. Every sign of life had been washed away. You've got to ask yourself, had I really been staying here? Indeed, do I exist at all? Lovely stuff! Maybe they'll add it <clears throat> eventually. I don't know. Mm Yes, there is a way to see your teachers. Maybe you go on your little person. The first one is staff. And then if you click on the little hat, you'll get all your teachers. So you can sort it yourself. And say you want the sad ones. Usually the sad ones want training. <laughs> so that's how I've been doing it. Sort the sad ones. And then send them off for training. They're sad they want to be trained. Not always, but a lot of times. Of course, we got the view mechanic again, too. And you can set that to staff. And you can see if their happiness from a general perspective. Which is kind of nice. So you can go like, okay, why are you miserable, sir? Do you want training? Sure, I'll send you for training. I feel like they always want training. This trip was all about regional delights and cultural differences. One man's casual vaudeville is another's world-shattering epiphany. The people of Smogley have been crusting and dusting their fish for as long as anyone can remember. But at the recently opened What's the Batter, they use a unique cheesy dubbing crumb. <laughs> I'm pretty happy. Say that Dude, it was 72%. the cheesiest fish this good. DJ had ever eaten. That's a winner. In class is completing assignments and attending. Upgraded equipment, nice environment. Nice environment.
I, I swear the collision in this one is bigger than Pay Point Hospital, though. <laughs> like, it just be me, though. It just feels bigger. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? <clears throat> Not the 15 staff. I want to be trained. <laughs> like... But if you click on that, it should give you at least one of them. And then you can go from there. You have rug in, in there? No, no, no rug in this room? Thanks for following, Ms. Jess Brown. I appreciate that. Hang in there, kitty. As much as I enjoyed my trip around right. this wonderful, mysterious county of ours. But for now, all of this talk about food has made and me. And the hungry. only, like, so thing you can do the in the bathroom and the, the shower to make it nice in is, Until like, time, the soap bubble. <laughs> There's, like, no general poster anymore. I hope this, this one gets a workshop. And we can upload our own custom content again. That'd be great. Right. I miss that. I miss having my own emotes as wall decorations that cost like zero dollars as or as cheap as I could make it, or whatever it was. I'm rolling in Kudash. Security breach. Please change your passwords. Sorry. Everybody loves parfait. Everybody loves parfait.
rollers. Oh, we don't have enough time for honor rollers to come. Sorry. Reject. To the lounge party, go not. Leveling up. Nice. Rising staff. Cutting edge campus. Queen of clubs. King of hearts. Nobody failed. Enjoy your summer. I know I will. All right. Money wrangling. Wrangle that money. Money, can you teach me how? I can use that knowledge. Yeah, have some pride flags everywhere. Radio, and I'm your host, Felicity Bellbottoms. Speculation continues to build over that smell in the lecture theater. Oh no! Should you believe someone that really smell in the lecture the theater? theater under one of the seats? That doesn't sound good. Is it haunted? The answer may surprise you. Congratulations! Research project complete. Soul-crushing debt. <laughs> Yeah, 
beautiful pride flags everywhere. Doo -doo. Yeah, put them in there. Here, put them in the private tutoring room. And research them. Now. Alright, one more level 5 club. No, we just need these students to level up, man. Level up! In assignments, private tuition, highlight file, find teachers. Alright. Let's do more teacher training. Let's make them highly qualified. I want you to do more research. If I have the time and the money, I usually do this. I just send them all <laughs> for training. If I'm just killing time and I have money, I just send them all for training. It's time for a book review. Over to Maggie, who's been reading the memoirs of Two Point Radio's longest tenure DJ. Use another research teacher. week I've been reading A Life on the Waves by Ricky Hawthorne. Oh, so good. Really, really good. Because I didn't know before, actually. And spent so if you happen to notice, um, let's in water, pause. Really. If, if they do want training and you're just kind of casually looking at your uh, campus, they have that weird symbol pop up. I'm trying to find one. <laughs> I think I've sent too many of them for training. They they have that it looks like the training symbol. And and then if you see that pop up, then you can catch them and and send them off for training. That's just super interesting. But I play on like fast speed because I go fast. There, right there. That person wants training. That's the training. I, I learned to learn the, the symbol for it. That person wants training. Mm. So if you notice that pop up too, that, that's an indicator that they want training. we have 116 we should have enough dorms yeah yeah it's a nice little extra thing to keep an eye out for if you can trying to slowly because not all these symbols are the same you know like this hygiene one is different from hospital so I was like well, what does that mean when it pops up like that you know so I've been trying to learn all the different ones ones that I'm not as used to anyway Good job.
power napper is my other level five club. Probably. Power napping is pretty popular. <laughs> no, I'm blaming them. We're sorry for the litter that you. Oh, sorry, that's mine. The renovation of a library might sound like a good thing, but here's Hugh to tell us why it's actually quite sad. Smugly. Students and then you can also look at your students, and if you want to see who's like not doing very well, so you can the send them off for tutoring and sort by their grade. So when they're first the here, they don't get a grade right away, so you kind of have to scroll and yes, they find somebody. Stand on the lawn outside the library. All the grades are C's. That's not bad. Now over. Spare a thought bad. For them. As you enjoy a sleek, frictionless library experience. Skills are not transferable. It's really important to have a good library, it seems. They really utilize it for leveling up. So I have been putting in extra libraries, making sure they all have access to a library. What else they can level up? Maybe this? Yeah. More research. So I did all my lecture halls are all leveled up. Education is no problem. I mean, I could work on still making them pretty. stuff to them to make them a little bit better. They're learning funny business. That sounds like some funny business. Fit in there. <laughs> it's pretty cramped. There you go. Oh, I caused a collision there. Level nine now. 
to the giblet caves. This once succulent land has been turned a putrid green. There is only one who can save us now. Meet Wizard! Explore a world of legend and lamb chops in Meat Wizard. Return of the Salami Sorcerer. <laughs> only on the Bungle Button Master. Will the games be happening? No unauthorized talking on campus. Thank you. happening here. See what I mean? The aim was stuck good. Hmm. Don't... I try not to make it too crowdy, but... And they want it better, so it's like, how do you make it better? You have to add more stuff to the room. And then it's all cramped. And then they have a hard time getting in and out. <laughs> Students are reminded to set reminders. somebody on Scientology. It's being reported that that smell in the lecture theater was indeed a large piece of cheese. We're hearing that a member of the janitorial staff was seen retrieving the putrid wedge in a hazmat suit. <laughs> well, this particular source has been known to exaggerate. We can only hope the smell dissipates and our community can breathe deeply and cheeselessly once again. We'll have a next nice one. Out.
they all fighting over here? Buddy, it's a good boy. You can come say hi to chat. Bless you. Oh, poor kitty man. Mm -hmm. you come say hi to chat. He's so good. So sleepy today. That's okay. Been a rainy day, eh, buddy? A good day for sleeping. If you hear mm -hmm. this, please drink some water. Good boy. That's a good mare then. Oh, you gonna come snuggy next to your mom? <laughs> the camera. Oh no, I don't want to move my leg. Ray, thanks for that awesome rain. I appreciate it. I'm being snuggified by a kitty man. I'm gonna see if I can find the camera. <clears throat> I appreciate it. Sir. Hello again. How. How was the rest of your day? Students are invited to be in two places at once. Coffee? Oh uh, no. That's my fingers. There's a kitty. He's so tired right now. He just woke up for a minute. Yeah. Such a goof. I hope you feel better soon. Congratulations. Research project complete. Na, na, na. To level seven computer lab. Yeah, I hate being sick. I'm the most grumpy grump grump person when I'm sick. Sucky baby too. <laughs> I'll admit it. He turned into a great big sucky baby. The sound of two point counting on two point radio. Ricky Holford waxing the waves lyrically and literally on two point radio. Why don't you listen to this next track and I'll take that pebble out of my shoe. Hello. 
announcement. Getting the box doesn't mean what you think it means. Oh, Merlin. What a tough life. It is level 9. Oh, this one. Needs the kitty computer. This one's smaller. I don't know if I can get that one to level 9. Sorry! Speaking of, have we got some things we do? Good dash. <sighs> Just trying to get to two stars on, on this right now. If you don't know where your class is, so we gotta level up our students. Up? So we're trying to make everything nice for them so that they level up. Get a flicky tail flicked against me. Oh no. <laughs> Merlin. Who's this other club? End of year is approaching. It's too late to start trying. I guess we got Put out the orb one? I don't really like the orb one. Orb. Because it isn't it bad for them? Makes their health go down. Dropped out. Hey. Do, 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 do. What's that one good computer lab we got? Is this it? Oh, that's We've science got breaking lab. news for you on Two Point Radio. A zoo worker at the Crockle Bay Zoo has fallen into the gibbon enclosure. It's been reported that they're not under any immediate danger, and zoo officials are currently negotiating with the Gibbons for the employee's release. The academic year is now over. Yeah, every single time. Staff come along. They trained. Frequently asked questions. 
Oh, they're so happy. <laughs> nice. Wait, how many students do we get in this year? 145. I need another library. Sometimes I get asked what I would have done had I not gone into the disc jockeying trade. Well, as a young boy, I dreamed of being a spy. Yes, I pine for a life of international intrigue and late night dinners at the county's expense. Sadly, to be a spy, you need to be able to whisper. And I just can't do it. When it comes to disclosing secrets, you don't want my persistent volume and crystal clear intonation. Uh. Announcement. The timetable is now on. Mm. Kitty butt. It's a kitty butt, I promise. <laughs> it's good they never here, man. Are they all oh they're sitting on the floor. There's <laughs> the book club. There you go. <laughs> you sit at a table. taking care of the teachers. At Jumbo, we know it's our employees that are the big deal. That's why they get the Jumbo treatment. Mobile stationery, toilet substitute, sip of milk, leg rooms, dental surgeries, additional headrest, Ooh. and our famous data system analysis training program system. Or FDAP staffs. 
I'm Jumbo McNally, and I wish I worked here. I love how if they're part of the nature club, they can run around naked. Money business soon fit all in their suits. that training pad. Then I meant to be doing any research. library suddenly got popular. through the Gibbon social structure. Fascinating stuff. There's no word on what Gibbons are, but I believe they're a kind of amphibious cat. <laughs> Little amphibious cat. creatures with whiskers and a big bushy tail. Fantastic. <laughs>
You need to have the kitty cat here. Level nine computer lab. Okay. Funny business. We're joined by Professor Hamish oh. Curlybanks of the Pebbly Frog oh, Sanctuary. Man. He tells me gibbons are nothing like an amphibious cat. What's going on, Hamish? That's right, Ricky. Gibbons are actually, well, they're land mammals and apes, much like ourselves, but with very long arms. Apes, you say? Well, I never. Thanks for joining us, Professor. There's nothing I like more than being corrected on air. Tuition fees are expensive, and education is priceless. to be going for training. I only have two training pods, though. That's the one thing I missed from 2 Point Hospital, too, is you used to have a training room where you could send, like, 20 of them for training, and now you have to wait for them to be trained one at a time. training room where I could send like a whole boatload of them all at once. <laughs>
other stuff gets trained. I hate to say that, but I want my teachers to be trained first. Chef Ricky's morsel of the day. You can buy breadcrumbs from any self-respecting supermarket or interweb parlor replacement service, but there's something to be said for doing it the old-fashioned way, by throwing the loaf against a brick wall until it disintegrates into a fresh and flaky nothingness. It'll take a good couple of hours, but boy is it worth it. This is a test announcement, not a real announcement. and a surprise twist from the Gibbon enclosure. The zoo worker, first thought lost to the diminutive apes, has become their leader. They claim to have learned to love the Gibbons, their way of life, and their disproportionately lengthy arms. So, instead of going to work in the zoo every day, they'll just be living there, I suppose. That's one way to skip the morning traffic. I've been Ricky Hawthorne. Good night. Staff are reminded that dogs don't eat homework. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.
separate that. King of Hearts this year? Dirt bags, no more. Seven out of fifty. Awesome. Keep leveling up, kids. The timetable is not written in stone. Still, we're not changing it. Seventy percent are happy. So what's wrong with the other thirty percent? Tired. 
They like sleep in the summertime. That's what somebody was telling me yesterday. <laughs> no wonder why they're tired all the time. Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Hello, hello. Today we're discussing for the very first time, ironically, sequels. Yes, that's right. When the wicked and wretched behind something decide that it's a good idea to bless us all once again with the second pressing of their already tenuous idea. Frequently asked questions. Yes, we are testing you. Didn't mind this so now. I tell you. I didn't blind this though. I could do without that. Outside, all love outside, all the time. Yeah, I can't put a bench there. Huh. I don't think I can put these in there. No. You can't fall in love on the beach. I'm sorry. No falling in love on the beach. Denied. Not my fault. They won't let me. Or the art of doing something again is derived from the Greek word. Oh, we got the level five clubs, okay. Lazy, repetitive, or in some way redundant. Don't need to worry about that. It would seem that the ancients are trying to tell you something. Ambition is so terse you need times. Your bookworms cured. Born. Where are you? Oh, you're getting your bookworms, Karen. Students are invited. The future is getting cured. phone to play on. They won't even know how to use it. They'll be so excited to try to figure out how to use this ancient technology. If you use the payphone in your life, it's time to start putting money into a retirement fund.
plus student. Wow. Hungry thirsty. Well, there's all kinds of vending machines right there. No. Why are you only a C student? What's wrong with you? Go get training. Go get tutoring. Remember then, where are you going, Bubby? Is it time to go bye bye, guys? Oh, Murphy. or the art of doing something again. Wait, no, we've covered that already. See what I did there? I almost defeated myself and then decided not to. It is possible. <coughs> Up next, something fresh. Boop, boop. So I guess we just gotta wait for these level 14 students. I think they're pretty happy people. Oh, 74% happy. That's, that's pretty happy. One point eight million dollars. Hey, Two Point Campus, can I have a check in the mail, please? or something. I bet a rim out. Maybe they'll find love. Breakfast can be hard for us all. Toast again? Get those heckling kids something new to chew on. <coughs> Only Hoglog cereal combines four times of wheat with a salty crunch of crispy bog skin. Bog skin? Oh, no. no unauthorized talking on campus. Thank you. Funny business people, let's have open mic. Are you guys watching anything funny lately? I would love to find something funny to watch. Any good shows out there anymore? I don't have TV. <laughs>
I'm waiting for Netflix to have the next season of, uh, whatchamacallit, Stranger Things. I figured that wouldn't be out till September. But that's, that's not really a comedy all the time. I mean, sometimes it's funny. Then again, with my sense of humor, <laughs> I probably wouldn't find anything funny anyway. I know, eh? There's like nothing good right now. Mm. You like Stranger Things as well? It's pretty cool. I wasn't too sure. I didn't really know if I would like it. I get Netflix every once in a while and I get caught up on on it. Repetition seems to but then I'll the stop paying for it because like for me I don't want to pay ten dollars a month for something I'm not really another using so I only do it for like a month at a time <laughs> and then I'm like yeah I'm good for a while. Come on people go out there and live. Join me tomorrow I can't find anything like to stick to my collection of on a monthly rules. basis. I was also waiting for like Burdock mysteries. That's got to be like on its final license. season, I think. To have its final season done. You been watched it? Yeah. Yeah. I only get Netflix every so often. When I figure... And then I, like, binge watch stuff like The Walking Dead and stuff that I, like, I got so far behind on. Once a year, twice a year, maybe. Then for months, I'm, like, good. Lost in Space. I like Lo their new version of Lost in Space as well. It looks good. That's the thing, I'll binge watch it and then I get to the end and I'm like so sad because there's no more. I oh, know, I need more. <laughs> And there's like no other real good streaming service. I don't know. I've tried Disney Plus, and again, I'll like binge watch anything that I've wanted to watch, and then it's like, yeah, I'm good. I tried Discovery Plus for a month, and the only thing that I found that I could put on and it would just be for bedtime would uh, be like uh, their um, animal channel stuff like I'd put that on to go to sleep with for well I mean when I wanted to sleep but when it was like not sleeping time then it was like I would watch other things uh, like, I'm not gonna pay just to have Animal Planet mostly to, like, sleep to. <laughs> yeah. I feel like uh, when I am, like, engrossed in that, I'm, like, gone from, from watching a lot of Twitch. And, and then I, I don't come back. To Twitch except for streaming. <laughs> and I was like, come back to Twitch and be like, I've been, I've been watching the Netflix. That's where I've been.
getting in touch about one particular sequel. Yes, the follow-up to Mr. Cushion's positively poisonous production, Perilous Spandex. The only thing hazardous about that particular picture is watching it. <laughs> the sequel, entitled Perilous Spandex 2, The Handles of Love, received the coveted Piece of Garbage Award. A little award that I bestowed to highlight as a public service announcement, really. Those films most bereft of value in our county's rich tradition of abominable filmmaking. <laughs> Janitor needed to unroll toilets. Yeah, it's like, well, I don't know what to, what to watch. Sometimes I get so bored in the daytime when I, I don't have anything. I'm not at work, and then nobody's streaming on Twitch that I want to watch. And I, and I'll be like, well, what do I do with myself then? I don't feel like playing a game. I can't afford to go out, or I don't want to go out. And I'm like, ah, oh, man. Then I usually end up napping. Nappy, nappy time. Or I go out shopping anyway and I spend money that I shouldn't be. <laughs> Congratulations. Research project complete. Because, you know, that's what you do when you're bored. Oh my god. I'm like, oh no. Almost. We shan't be doing it again, because unlike all you reproduction peddling washed up rehash monkeys, we at Two Point Radio know when to stop.
don't have a battleground. I just want one of you to know night school so I can research more stuff while we got time. <laughs> Get rid of cables. If you hear this, please Was it seven? Seven years ago? <laughs> and I said to Mr. Smee, What are we gonna watch? I don't wanna watch all these YouTube videos, because that's all I knew about back then was YouTube. And he said, well, maybe we'll watch people play video games. And I said, oh, that sounds boring. <laughs> then I tried it. And I liked it. And I thought I could do the streaming thing, too. And then we got Merlin. Of course, this has all been delivered to you with one and I decided I should be Merlin's keeper. If I were ever and to be that's in what brought us all together, I guess. Because <laughs> the cable bill kept going up and up. And I was like, I want to pay like $60 a month for cable when there was like nothing good on TV anymore. At the time. I don't know. How is that? I mean, when I first moved to this apartment, there was a deal where I could get TV for like $10. And I was like, okay, that was great. That's wonderful. And I knew it was only going to be for a certain amount of time. And it went up to 30 and I was like, yeah, okay, you know, that's fair. And, um, like, then it just kept more and more. I was like, why? Why am I paying all this money? And like, a lot of our channels are French. <laughs> and, you know, I can't really watch them because I haven't remembered my French anymore. So it's like, well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, it takes all you guys to make it awesome, there you know. Yeah, I'm not doing it on my own. Guys, keep it chill. I appreciate that. I'm glad that there's not too much often. I have to mostly ban bots anymore. <laughs> the bot accounts. And that's it. I don't have to worry about any, any mm, thing going on that shouldn't be. <laughs> I appreciate that. Do it. 
started playing city skylines back in the day. And now we play all kinds of games. <laughs> They're all pretty chill though. a good time. I love, I love hanging out. Having a fun time. How's that, uh, how's that Students computer monitor hunting you got going on, Nandy? Almost got it. If you found it. Have to let me know. How's it going, man? somebody in night school. to Campus Radio. Today's show is brought to you by the Orb Foundation. Sign up at your campus today. The Orb a is desk the and a monitor and the perfect solution. Please read anything they make you sign. Okay? Okay. Yeah, I know, eh? University. I feel like every time I upgrade my computer it's like Wow. So much better. <laughs> Yeah. 
theory about saving up money, though. <laughs> I'd like to get another, a newer graphics card eventually, but not for a while. If you don't know where your class is, is it really worth going? are doing well, okay. Come on, level up. Announcement. Hitting the box doesn't mean what you think it means. and writing them down can waste precious study time. But what's the alternative? Over to you, Maggie. Yes, I've devised my own method of shorthand that saves me so much time. It really enables me to pay attention yeah, during lectures anymore. and make notes at the same time. I mean, sometimes it is really quite hard to tell what I've written, and that can waste some time and be a bit, um, distressing. So, if anyone does know how to take real shorthand, could you let me know? Please. <laughs> Students are reminded that there's no such thing as free time. Yo! Oh! Level 8, breaking point beach. What are you? Level five. Six. Five? Let's do it. Pretty lights everywhere. More of a tree is. Beautiful. I bet the, the is that near the church? No. No, I 
nice and nasty. How beautiful it is. Come on, lovely. about posters apparently hey. average student yes, entertainment of 75 percent posters specifically what your posters say hey, about let's you. entertain them the jasmine odyssey poster tells me that you're a kind spirit with a nice smelling face a poster of a car tells me that you just love mechanical things like carburetors, exhaust pipes, and cup holders. And a cheesy gubbins poster tells me that you're very, very hungry. <laughs> if it's not on your CV, it didn't happen. Not to me. So, let's see where they're bored. Chippa Wooza! Give us a porta potty. Yeah, put outside. Distracted students should pretend that they're listening. Yeah, a lot of our students are gonna graduate with A's. <laughs> we got A plus students. Consistency that just isn't natural. Meaning that every glass of milk made. Mini Beach of Palooza's can be out. Let's do it again. Yeah. Mm, milk made. Now that's good. Go to the Beach of Palooza. Not technically milk.
actually could probably use a bathroom right about here, right? bathroom right there. Should you help maybe? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know what happened to all my research teachers. Maybe I went for training. Pop up my drink and go to the bathroom. I'll be back as soon as I can. for sponsoring today's show and sending us those strange biscuits. I'm not sure if we'll be doing this again, but like the biscuits, it was fun while it lasted. Sort of.
Sorry about that. Just start filling the Brita up with water so I can have more juice. <laughs> A few months ago, I bought a, a Brita filter uh, jug. So you could just add water to it and it filters it. And I tell you, I, I, I think I'm like not having as many health issues <laughs> as I was. My coworker whose husband like works for the water company, she always says, aren't you glad you switched? And I said, yeah, like, I don't know if it's psychological, I swear the water tastes better. She said, no, it does taste better. <laughs> she said, knowing what her husband goes through all the time at work, yeah, she wouldn't say, drink the tap water. <laughs> and you know, our town is getting bigger. Maybe the water filled, maybe the water place can't keep up with it anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I didn't ask too many questions. <laughs> Even my dad, I, I got my dad on to it too, and he says, yeah, he's, he's like, uh, it was student choice, nice. He, he's like, he was having some tummy, stomach trouble. He was also stressed at the time. I don't know, I could have been just stressed. And I told him, I got the Brita, and, and I've been feeling less problems. So he did too. I go into the bathroom, man. That's right there. Hang out. Mr. Smeezer on top of it, but he's at his fences right now. Tuition fees are expensive. Checking up on education it. Is priceless. Well, they are away. Do, 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 do. Which means maybe some more afternoon streams. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> or morning, morning and afternoon streams. I get bored. And I don't have to worry about waking him up. I can stream in the daytime. Do, 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 do. So if you're bored in the daytime in the next week or so, take a peek. I might be streaming. Now Wednesday morning. On Wednesday morning I have to go to evil work. Evil work. Truly is the evilest of the most evil works. Teachers can my goodness, did I send them all on training again? Why are there never any for hire? What what what's up with that? 
don't want you. Me one with research. Yeah, I said research. That. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. Harrison Wolf on Two Point Radio. Welcome to Two Point Radio. Nine o'clock. Harrison Wolf, and I will be. You know where the Kitty is. And check on the Kitty. This I imagine he's in the sunroom now. Party, the sandwich and the lunchbox, the thing in the thing. I'll think of some words, and we'll be right back. Done training. Awesome session, yeah. Local film star Roderick Cushion is in a spot of bother after he was photographed throwing a bagel at some photographers. It's pretty bad luck that those freelance photographers were in his bathroom at the exact moment he decided to start flinging bagels. I mean, what are the chances? <laughs> Oh, they're really happy. 82% happy. Wow. 
They're having the time of their lives. graduated all the students. Nice. 70 more students to Beach Blues. Oh, I should get that this time. And then we just need to finish making three million dollars. It was a little difficult at first to get the students happy enough. I've lived in Two Point County for more years than I can remember, but every now and then I still hear an expression for the first time. This morning, I bumped into Ricky Hawthorne, and after a nice chat, he says, Time to see a man about a dolphin. Nice beach balloons have no done. What it could mean. Don't tell me though. That man's an enigma. And I choose to keep him that way. If you hear this, please drink some water. Thank you. I'm so sure you get the research done. training them all into research as a secondary field. Which are the ones who were already level six? Maybe then we'll have enough researchers. Visitors should be checked in and then removed immediately. I figure a good time to do research is when you have nothing but money and, and time. 
<laughs> so I'm trying to get it done. Somewhere, right? Saffron? That's a student lounge. Maybe that's what I need is another saffron. This season, it's all litigation and litter trays. The Bureaucats. New episode every week on Bible Pictures. No, we're man, there's teacher's lounges. <laughs> I know it's in here somewhere. Oh, it's right here.
No, oh, I forgot to give him air conditioning. shaking news that'll make us see life differently forever but first i gotta find my pencil wish me luck students are reminded to set reminders mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yay! Good. <laughs> when I was stuck on those other levels, I just thought they would. These levels would get harder and harder. <clears throat> All right. Spelling moles and training the spies of tomorrow. full of espionage, aeroplane snacks, and covert dealings. It all sounds rather romantic, doesn't it? Yes, until you realize that our county's secret service is based in Blundergrad, Two Point's most toilety city. And trust me, that's no secret. Welcome to Roach Burger. Ew! <laughs> Roach themed, Roach free burger joint. I get too hungry though. This particular branch is actually a cover for the Two Point Secret Service. You'll be running a special agent training campus. Unfortunately for you and everyone, really, the county's enemies have realized they can infiltrate our operation by flying to the campus. I know, sneaky, right? Alright. Gadget Lab. <laughs> Earn a total of 24 stars. Nice. That's pretty awesome. That makes me feel pretty good. Gadget Lab, Lecture Theater, Gastro. Astronomy teacher. Okay. Students are reminded. Five this is the fun part. Okay, gadget lab. Yeah, that sounds good. 
chemical panel. Drone table. Bomb poster? Well, let's skip the bomb poster, shall we? Is it cold here? Yeah. Star reminded that dogs don't eat homework. They get warm. A big bomb. Oh boy. Crystal ball. Good morning. You're listening to Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. You're listening to Two Point Radio. This is Ricky Hawthorne. It's a few minutes past something. We'll check on those Target numbers range. while you listen to some music. Why don't they tell you that there's going to be six million other things you're probably going to need? Just to like make the room bigger. <laughs> then you were gonna light shell. Okay. There you go. How do I have room for you? There we go. Let's squeeze it in. Squeeze it. It's probably really cold in that room. There we go. Lecture theater. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Heat in there too, I bet. Get cold. Then they'll be mad. No unauthorized talking on campus. Thank you. Putting it in the other places. Yeah, good enough. Bathroom? No, we can't put a bathroom. No, 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 not there. Ugh. -na -na Maybe beside it. Stay here. Yeah. It's funny how your routines can change after all these years. Lately, I've been enjoying a bowl of hog logs in the morning. It's true what they say in the advert. There just wasn't enough pig in my morning. This next song is for the hog log lady. Frequently asked questions. No, you can't have an extension.
Lover bed. Purple bed. Gray bed. And a blue bed. Put in the warning, stupid questions the will make you entertainment. Interested. A rug under every bed. We're trying to make it beautiful so that they are super happy. The happier they are, the better grades they get. And it's just easier that way. Either in somewhere. I can put in a plant and maybe this for entertainment. They can have all the fun they want in their room that they never go to, apparently. Maybe they'll actually want to go if they can have fun in there. Recently, while walking home, I was chased into a tree by a group of students barking like dogs. I went into a primal state of self-preservation, hissing at them like a feral cat. I've learned since that it was some kind of initiation for a society. Oh, I suppose now that I know it was a joke, I can see the funny side. Ha, young people, eh? The terrifying scamps. Terrifying scamps. Skills? Don't be germy. Oh, we still got rugs unlocked, fam.
This is called Two Point Campus. If you've ever seen me play Two Point Hospital, it's from the same people. <clears throat> so you got to build a school now instead of a, instead of a hospital, and it's silliness and all that jazz. It was supposed to come out in May, but it got delayed until August. So it only just came out on the 9th? Of August? Spy school now, right now. Spy students can be moles. Oh no! Clouds of confusion. Back to clouds. Okay, so you gotta watch out for moles. Like mole moles. Librarian. Oh, does it? Huh. I sworn I updated that. Hmm. Maybe refresh if you stayed in the channel while you napped. Sometimes uh, it doesn't update. Good. <laughs> yeah, hit the refresh. That usually fixes Just that. Remember, things are looking cold on the pointy mountains. You might want to wear a second pair of shoes. Mm. I suppose skis are technically a second pair of shoes. What they lack in terms of providing warmth, they make up for by being a lot like very thin to boys. Love benches. Play that music. <sighs> I always want to fall in love. I do that sometimes too. It goes off in somebody's channel and they've changed their game and then it still says the old game for me too. Mm -hmm. 
definitely need a librarian. Okay, he'll be a librarian player. So you get money from tuition, and if they buy snacks, and this is their grades, they're getting a C right now. They're kind of happy though. <laughs> That fix it. Mm -hmm. And there's different clubs that they can join. I like them to join speed walking because it just makes them walk faster. So they can like, get around the campus faster. A gym. Plumbing club. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Oh, my God staff need a break. The rush when you blow a valve. The competitive element is one thing, but it's also great training for when something goes wrong at home. After all, with a right attitude and a little experience, there's no problem. You yeah, can't make it worse. Staff room. <laughs> make them happy. So if you like the building and management stuff, but, you know, like it a little bit silly. This is a fun one. Give our staff some nice cool games to play while they're on break. The higher prestige a room is, the more they like it, so if I put on all these carpets, they'll like it better. And then they'll be happier. <laughs> so, meh. See that little bar? We want it to go across as much as possible. Teachers, some snacks. Oops. Maybe a trash can that they probably won't use. Do -do -do -do. Give them a TV, right? No, just give them the TV. Sanitizer. Maybe a cactus for good measure. Couple more couches. Yeah. 
They might like that staff room. In the news today, pop star Jasmine Odyssey has everybody talking after sharing an image of a spatula. Fans no. are debating whether this latest this is like a psychiatrist. Is a of music to come or uh, simply they call it a pastoral care. It's hard to say, but what I is think clear is that we'll be like discussing a glorified psychiatrist. Students are reminded to find themselves. The more some of these things that I'm putting in actually makes them better at their job. So it, like gives them a boost. Makes them better at it. And then we need to hire somebody who knows how to do that, so they get the heart. They know how to do that. And they'll take care of the people who have It's almost the end of the academic year. Well they in case you haven't noticed. They're aggravated. <laughs> Man! They're getting kind of bored. So, you know, you, get, you spend all that college tuition to go play video games in the hallway, right? Totally. <laughs> and to find love. Yep. And then at the end of the year, you have to know if anybody failed how your exams are doing. Any awards we got campus of the year. Man. And then you gotta figure out where's the next plot. And you can build more. So we're gonna need another theater where they go get lectures. And a panic room and a sweet kitchen. And we need a spy school teacher. And a guest from a teacher. <laughs> uh oh, I ran out of money. I'm supposed to be looking out for moles. Oh uh, yeah, this is a mole. How do you how do you deal with a mole? Eh, track them all. <laughs> I got an achievement for that. Nice. Ooh. Well, I think I'm gonna need to borrow some money. Hate borrowing money. Cause then you have to pay back with interest. Okay, so uh, teacher we need sweet kitchen. Well, that's the cover. We're a cooking school, but really we're a we're a spy school. That's the end of our show, but I'll be back tomorrow to do it all over again. Here's to that. Here's to time's relentless advance. Here's to you, Two Point County. Playing us out, we've got an absolute firecracker. Good night. Maintenance announcement. Plants need water. Sometimes these things just barely fit. And I wonder how you're supposed to, like, fit them in there. I'll build you a room. It's cold, so you need to 
put heaters everywhere. Unless they complain about being cold. <laughs> Wow, that, that's a really big room to panic in. Holy. University gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. That is a really big room. Wow. Wow. Well, that's why we needed that to fit in there. <laughs> I haven't played this level yet, so I didn't know. How big it is. Wow. Pretty big. <laughs> Alright, let's make spy school tougher. Sure. Or better. And then let's go. Start the year. I hope they have a pencil too. Wow, that's a cold room. Murph. Trying to make it warmer for them. Go to that class and freeze to death. Um, how many students do I have? Forty-seven. Okay, forty-seven. How many can I fit in a storm? Uh, apparently, all forty-seven are sitting in that dorm. That's worrisome. Why? Why doesn't it like that there? <laughs> Here's their. Their, their little hamster wheel that they can get better at speed walking. Mm hungry and they'll spend their money on it and that's a good way of making some extra money. <clears throat> oh, I need a research room. Oh, they're cold outside. Now why I have to heat the outside for them. Why don't you just wear a winter coat? You're cold outside. There, apparently. to put it against the corner. There we go. I'm Maggie Watmore, learning on the job on Campus Radio. Oops, so sorry against the wall either. Um, 
Should we be paying someone for using this next song? Sorry, I just really don't know. But anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. Here we go. Wow. Wow. Staff are reminded to be inspirational. So you can even decorate outside, which is something you couldn't do in Two Point Hospital. Which is pretty cool. They're not doing very well in their, in their class right now. Look at that big old cake. Nom nom nom. <clears throat> well, we have another mole to find. If we see the clouds, they seem confused. There's supposed to be a, a mole. So you gotta look for students. With clouds above their head. Oh, I keep forgetting there's a class over here. Everyone on campus is talking about the county's education minister and the bad. No, see the more thing that happened. Over to you, Maybe Hugh. I need to go slower. Yes, that's right. Emotions are high here in Crockenbush today as students have flooded into the city to protest the continued existence of Education Minister Tarquin Foxbridge. They dabbled in some chanting, but haven't been able to get into an easy and repeatable rhythm. We'll be here letting you know the wording they settle on as and when it happens. Tuition fees may be spent on administrative bonuses. You. They said the cloudy person was the mole. No. 
how you supposed to know? These all they all, they all have it. food rating. 75%. I don't know how to get a better food rating. I guess they probably want more food kiosks. Do you want to learn better? Of course you do. Wonder, how do we do that? Everyone is looking for ways to study without all those hours in the library and pen stains on your fingertips. The latest way to trick your body into learning is to sleep with a book in front of or on top of your face. As you sleep, your eyes will occasionally open, letting in a little light and valuable, valuable knowledge. Try it for a week and see the results for yourself. Janitor required in bathroom. What else? Research we need to do. Okay. Let's build a research place where we have money. Announcement. Getting the box doesn't mean what you think it means. Yeah, I think it can be. The research teacher? Hey, look at that. We actually have one available. Alright. Jetpack level 2. Let's research that. You're bored in class. I don't even know what to tell you about that. Maybe you should change your major. <laughs> you don't like your class.
administrator is reminded to stay hydrated. I really hate this class. I think it's so boring, I guess. At Jumbo, we know it's our employees that are the big deal. That's why they get the Jumbo treatment. Mobile stationery, toilet substitute, sip of milk, leg rooms, dental surgeries, additional... Oh, goodness. Those kids failing. Data system analysis training program system. They tried to find them all. Adapt steps. I'm Jumbo McNally, and I wish I worked here. Mm. The yearly results are in. Not bad, I suppose. Mm, you. You're a mom. The academic year is over. No? Students must vacate the campus. <laughs> I don't know them. Oh, so these kids all got sabotaged. But where? So, what did it say about the moves? Pictures. I didn't even know that. Students are reminded that some grades are personal. We have a medical issue. Okay. Well, I should probably make a medical office too. So I forget how to tell who's in the middle of it. tomorrow when we'll be discussing which vegetables last the longest. That should be great. You know, I've bought 16 avocados this year and still haven't gotten to eat any of them. I mean, really, they must be right for about five minutes. Sorry, we'll leave that for tomorrow, shall we? Join us then.
medical office too. Show up to work. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, we need more tenders. I only have three, so. to take more loans. If it's not on your CV, it didn't happen. Not to me. Street like Frogger? Oh, they got a bridge. <laughs> I was gonna say, we gonna play Hit the Student? Is this the gadget lamb? Oh, I need way more money. Unattended 
Waxing the waves lyrically and literally on Two Point Radio. Why don't you listen to this next track and I'll take that pebble out of my shoe. We're sorry for the litter that you... Oh, sorry, that's fine. I don't know why they don't want the digital computer. They're just happy with the analog one. Right, well, that's gonna have to be good Welcome enough. To the start of a new year. I'll be your host. Hello. <laughs> Students should check in before trying to learn. <laughs> Research. I heard of librarian. I can't afford to hire a librarian. <laughs> Oopsie. Speed black and track. We've got breaking news for you on Two Point Radio. There we go. A zoo worker at the Crockle Bay Zoo has fallen into the gibbon enclosure. It's been reported that they're not under any immediate danger, and zoo officials are currently negotiating with the gibbons for the employee's release. Furthest frontier, I think it's good. I'm still gonna be learning it, but I think it's. Good. I'm doing better now. Earlier, um, I'm staying alive and I'm fighting off the. I think you might like it. It's kind of like banished. other games like that. Mm -hmm. It's 
a little pricey. Uh, I think it was 30 or so dollars for me. Uh, would have been if it wouldn't wasn't gifted to me, which was nice. <laughs> So I think it might be like 25 or so bucks for you, but I think it's it's gonna be good. Students are Something, yeah. Sometimes it seems like it's just trying to be hard, just to be hard, but. Once I get the hang of hang of it, then I'll be, you know, then I'll know how to build it perfect, you know, better. Anyway, maybe not perfectly, but better. <laughs> like how many hunting lodges you need, or how many foraging lodges you need, or how many fishing, how many. The the one thing is. When you're starting a save, you have to look for clay, because if there's no clay around you, it could be game breaking. So, uh, the clay is super important for leveling up a lot of things down the road. And, and, and the first time I played it, I had no clay in the area I started in at all. And I and I had to start over because there was no clay. I didn't know I get asked how to I find done, more or what it even looked like at first, trade. you know. Well, as a young boy, I dreamed of being a spy. Yes, I so I'd suggest a taking a look around their starting map and seeing success. if you have clay. Sadly, to be a spy, you need to be able to whisper. But it lets you re-roll the map, so it's not horrible. You don't want my persistent volume and crystal clear intonation. Frequently asked questions. No, I've not seen your frog. There was a guy the other day streaming it. He might be streaming it again, and he was playing on the hardest difficulty. <laughs> I've got a lot to learn before I... I'm, I'm playing it on Novus, <laughs> just so I can get the hang of it. And he had, like, I forget what year he was on, but, like, really far in. I forget his name.
stress can be hard for us all. Toast again? I hate it here! Uh-oh, give those heckling kids something new to chew on. Only Hoblog cereal combines four times of wheat with a salty crunch of crispy bog skin. Night. Visitors should be checked in and then removed I'm thinking about calling it soon. I'm getting stiff. <laughs> and I already had a sore neck a couple of days ago. From sleeping the wrong way. <sighs> yeah, I think we'll pick up this back up again tomorrow night. I might be back tomorrow afternoon. We'll see. With maybe some more farthest frontier. We'll see. Guys, keep on keeping on being awesome. And let's see. Anybody streaming for you guys? Maybe somebody I know. Too often I get to host anybody late at night. Nope. Unfortunately. So, take care, stay awesome, and good night.